Hey guys, welcome back to the Curly Reader. Today we're going to the Minnesota, what is this called? Twin Cities Book Festival? Twin Cities Book Festival. The Twin Cities Book Festival. I'm here with my friend Pam. Say hi. Hi. We're gonna go meet Abby Jimenez and get some books signed. And I figured I'd take you guys along with me and uh, show you a little bit about what's here. So we're at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds. We're getting ready to go inside and walk around the festival area and then get in line to get our book signed by Miss Abby. So, let's go. Okay, so I'm home now and I thought I would show you what I got at the book festival. So the reason my friend and I went was to meet Abby Jimenez and to get our book signed by her. So I chose to get part of your world signed and I don't regret it. Um, she also, oops, <laughs> 
So she signed to Amanda. And then she also had stickers. This one says Grace Costs Nothing. Or Grace Costs You Nothing. And this is from Part of Your World. And then these ones, oops, are of her dog. So there's Tess and Stuntman Mike, who are Abby's dogs that some of her um, book, the dogs in her books are based off of. Um, but then I also thought I would share with you the other books that I got. So the first one that I have here is called Unscripted. This is by Nicole Kronzer. Um, and this is a YA book about a girl who has like dreams of being on SNL. She's a stand-up comic and she tries out for an improv group and makes it and she finds out that she's the only girl on the team, but then also that she is the only or has been the only girl on a team since for like 15 years and so this book is all about like when you are trailblazing how much do you owe to yourself and how much do you owe to those who you re who you represent and it sounded so good um she also signed my book and i got to meet her and she was amazing and so i'm excited to own that and to read that all right the next one I have here is part of a series. I ended up getting the second book in the series because they had it in paperback. Um, and this is The Second Death of Good Luck Tanubu. This is by Michael Stanley, who I believe is a, like, group. It's a writing team. Yeah. Um, and they're all from Johannesburg, South Africa. And this is a detective series set in South Africa. It's a Kubu mystery. And so, yeah, it's just a mystery series. Um, I saw the covers of all these books and I was like, those are good covers. And the author was standing there. And there was another gentleman standing there that said he had already read like four or five of them and they were amazing. And so he convinced me to try one. And so I picked this one up. I really don't know anything else about it, but I'm excited to give it a try. Another one that I picked up is the Book Haters Book Club. This is by Gretchen Anthony. Gretchen Anthony was there um, and she, I think she might be... Yeah, she lives in Minneapolis. And so I didn't realize she was a local author to me, um, which is so exciting because this was on my most anticipated books of the year. And I think that I might advocate for this to be the next book in my In Real Life book club because she said she would zoom in for a book club meeting for this. So she also signed my book and I'm really excited to have this. This is a book about um, that this bookshop owner starts to help people who don't think they like books, but they actually do. You can hear my family. It's Saturday, it's family time. I'm not gonna try to make them be quiet for this, but um, anyway, so there is background noise, I am aware. Um, but I am really, really excited to get this one to try and Gretchen was amazing as well. All right, and then the next one I got, I'm pretty sure this one is a self-published author, but I got The Dragoneer. This is by Amber Baudreau. I don't know if I said that right, um, but this is kind, I don't know, it's high school. 15-year-old um, Moira Noble stumbles across a cave and a dragon in need of help. She accidentally forms a link to it and becomes a dragoneer. Um, she needs to kind of help with something or it won't just be her dragon's life on the line, but hers as well. And it just sounded really good. My kids are really into the Wings of Fire books and I thought that this would be a good one for my seventh grader to kind of start aging up. And I love supporting a self-published author. And yeah, so she sign my book as well. That's the fun thing about book festivals is you get to meet all the authors and they sign your books. The last one I got here is a graphic novel. This is Last Pick by Jason Walls. His kids were there, which was so much fun. I got to meet his kids and he also drew in my book and signed it. But this is a graphic novel series. It says three years ago, aliens invaded Earth and abducted everyone they deemed useful. The only ones spared were those too young, too old, or too disabled to be of value. Living on Earth under the aliens' harsh authoritarian rule, humanity's rejects do their best to survive their captors never considered them a threat until now and i love that premise and so um he had two other books uh sequels to this so i'm really hoping that i love this and can get the sequels so those are the books that i ended up hauling from the twin cities book festival today i had a blast with my friend i hope that you enjoyed kind of getting to follow along and um, definitely I will link all of these authors websites or social media handles depending on what I can find and go check them out and support them because yeah they're doing great work and that's going to do it for today so I hope that you enjoyed this I hope that you stick around and subscribe and until next time see ya